Hello, this is Miss Lando. Today we're going to be reading and writing decimals. The standard we're working on today is read and write and compare decimals to the thousands. The section of the standard that we're focusing on in this video is read and write decimals to thousands using base 10 numeral names. To activate your knowledge for this lesson, I'd like you to review this place value chart. Remember that when we see that decimal point, to the right of the decimal point, we have the tenths place, the hundredths, thousands, and ten thousandths. Feel free to refer back to this place value chart throughout the lesson if you need a reference. Let's practice reading decimals. I have the decimal here, 1.6 but that's not how you're supposed to say it the school way. If I look at this chart, I can see that the six is in the tenths place. So in order to read this decimal the right way, I would say one and six tenths. To read 1.22 the school way, I see that the last number, the two, is in the hundredths place. So to read this decimal the right way, I would say 1 and 22 hundredths. Easy peasy. Last one. 4.704. Well, I know that's 4 and 704. Let's see where the 4 is. It lands in the thousands place. So, I read this number as 4 and 704 thousandths. Now we're going to write decimals. Three and four tenths. Three and means I have a decimal point. Four tenths. If I refer back to my chart, I can see that tenth is the first place after the decimal point. So four belongs in the tenths place. Three and four tenths looks like this, 3.4. Let's try the next one. 74 and 59 hundredths. Well, I know my whole number is 74 and, that's my decimal point, 59 hundredths. Well, hundredths is the second place. So, 74 and 59 hundredths looks like this, 74.59. One and five hundred two thousandths. All right, I know my whole number is one. And there's my decimal point. One and five hundred two thousandths. So I know I'm going to have three decimal places since thousandths is the third decimal place. Five hundred two thousandths. Easy peasy. Now it's your turn to try. Please screenshot this page and send me your thinking. For the first three, I want you to please record the words you would use to read each decimal. Then, please record the numerical representation of these decimals at the bottom, these two. So for these, you'll write the words you would use to read the decimal. And on the last two, I want you to write the number that represents those two decimals in words. All right, good luck. Feel free to refer back to any slide in this video if you need some extra reference or to use our place value chart.